Good morning, Westfield High School. Today is Monday, March 13th, 2023. Please rise for the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible with liberty and justice for all. Good morning, Westfield High School. I'm CJ Danker. And I'm Gabe Dayon. Today we start with an announcement from Mrs. Fendes. Good morning, Mrs. Fendes. Good morning, Westfield High School. Each year, schools in Union County are asked to nominate one student for the Union County School Boards Association's Unsung Hero Award. This award recognizes students who have made a positive impact on their school community. On Wednesday, March 8th, in a ceremony at Kane University, I was honored to name Vanessa Abdallah as Westfield High School's 2023 Unsung Hero. Vanessa is a bright light who has had a positive impact on the school community just by being herself every day. She's a volunteer transition leader where she guides incoming freshmen and helps them adjust to high school. This is a role for which she is naturally suited. She is also an advocate, bringing a passionate voice for the disabled community to the table. For example, she voiced excellent suggestions for how to make the school more accommodating to those suffering physical with differing physical abilities and how to make health curriculum more inclusive. Congratulations, Vanessa, on this well-deserved recognition. Thank you, Mrs. Fendes, and congratulations, Vanessa. Tickets for WHS Theater Department's production of Sunday in the Park with George are on sale now. Performances are this Thursday, Friday, and Saturday at 7.30 p.m. Go to whstd.booktix.com to get your tickets now. You don't want to miss your chance to see this Broadway classic on the WHS stage. Girls Learn International will be having a meeting today at their school in room 190. If you like to face off with your friends and test your smarts, join the Quiz Bowl Club tomorrow in room 159. Tomorrow, tomorrow the Spanish Club will be meeting in Cafeteria A to, celebrate, to watch short films to celebrate International Women's Day together. Chess Club is holding a ranking tournament after school today in room 167. If you're interested in seeing how your abilities scale to the rest of the club or just want to come down to watch, all are welcome. The next Jewish Cultural and Development Club meeting will take place tomorrow immediately after school in room 244. They will be planning an upcoming trip to see Leo Poldstadt on Broadway. Any questions, see Mrs. Legan. It's time now for sports with Michael Cerotti. Good morning, Mike. Good morning, WHS. I'm Michael Cerotti, and here's your BDTV sports update. Over the weekend, the boys track and field team sent 15 athletes to New Balance Nationals, and eight of them came home with All-American honors and three school records. The distance medley relay of Thage Mehta, Joe Piero, Johnny Scalia, and Avery Keith ran a 10-12.8 a to place sixth. The four-by-mile relay of Daly, Mehta, Keith, and Dan Cortese placed sixth with a time of 17.52.72. On the girls' side, the shuttle hurdle relay of Sean O'Brien, Lily Norton, Lily Petrie, and Grace Glenn placed ninth in the nation. Now it's time to take a look at the winter season's top 10 plays, starting with 10 through 6 today and 5 through 1 tomorrow. Here we go. At number 10, Ben Sue bowls a difficult 2-10 split for the spare in the Union County Tournament. At number 9, in a game at the Prudential Center against Cranford, the girls hockey team brings the puck down the boards. Emmy Wadonowski gives a backhand pass in front to Joel Tannenbaum who finds the back of the net. At number 8, Liam Murillo surges into first place and he continues his push to create separation from the rest of the pack, setting up the 4x800 relay of Murillo, Ryan Daly, Jimmy Gildea and Johnny Scalia to a school record 750.06 and a 6th place finish and All-American honors at Nationals over the weekend. At number 7, after swinging it to the corner, Tyshawn Pearson drives baseline and kicks it out to TJ Halloran for a straight on three in a win against Scotch Plains Fanwood. And at number six, Jackson Chicola spins behind the net and gives a no look pass up to Alex Ebel, who fires it in for the goal to tie things up with Governor Livingston. That's all for today's sports report. Back to you, Gabe and CJ. Thanks, Mike. That's all we have for today. If you would like to submit an announcement to be read, please visit the BDTV page on the high school website. Don't forget to follow us on Instagram at WHSBDTV. Have a great Monday and go Blue Devils.